Well, it looks like the uh, looks like the showers have stopped. Had some rain most of the day today, and most of the day today and yesterday. Well, <laughs> most of the last week or two, actually. <laughs> so we're about 8,000 feet elevation here. Uh, the uh, temperature is about 45 degrees. I think I want to make me something hot to drink. Well, there's a rub right there. Lots of lots of deer and elk up in this country. Nice spot. I love it up here. Really nice area. Well, let's uh, let's get into let's get into doing a little something. I think I can take this pine to off now. Right now, starts to rain again. I'll just throw it back on. Take her off. All right, get the gloves off. Get the pack off. This pack is so old. I don't even know how old it is. In sport, it's like it's not even wearing out. I don't get it. Okay. So I got a little. I got a little treat for you here today. This is probably something you've never seen, at least not quite like this. So if you've heard of a Kelly kettle or a Gilly kettle, that's what this is. Only well, this is a M, M style, uh, hard anodized aluminum. So it's made to work just like a Gilly kettle, a Kelly kettle, those famous deals from over there across the pond. From where I'm at anyway. So, but this is kind of a mini version for backpackers. So it's got, so it's got a little, a little fire. This is like a little fire chamber. The kettle sits like this on there. You can put sticks and stuff in there, fill it up. You can shove more sticks in through the side. And you can use this to heat water. So up inside of here, it's uh, shaped, kind of cone shaped, and it kind of goes in and then it makes a chimney for the rest of the distance here. You got a chimney, comes out here up the top. So you can use sticks, you can use anything you want, you can use. It was really made for sticks and twigs. And then this right here is a silicone rubber stopper which makes it so that you can actually carry water you can actually portage water inside this thing so you don't have to carry it empty but what I'm going to do today is something different than sticks um, I'm going to use something else here this is a Tox titanium alcohol stove thing weighs uh, 0.7 ounces so not even an ounce, not even three quarters of an ounce. And this is what's considered a, considered by people, they typically would call this a siphon stove. So if you look real close here, you can see periodically some holes around this little uh, indented rim right there. And then you can't really see it, but the, there's an inner wall to this thing, an inner wall and an outer wall. The inner wall doesn't go all the way to the bottom. And there's a little bit of some space, just a tiny bit, that goes up between each of those holes. So what it does is it gets started. It starts a little capillary action, a little siphon action, starts pulling alcohol up here, vaporizing it, and then creating a nice gas flame. So... That's what I'm going to use today to heat my water with. So I can take it up here and just use my little squirt bottle here of alcohol. So now we'll light it off and watch, watch what happens. This thing is pretty impressive. 
and I'm up here at uh, I'm up here a little over 8,000 feet and I know it's hard for you to really see it here I think but I don't know if that helps any no <laughs> but you can hear it it's blasting once it gets going all those jets point towards each other and set this on top and let it kind of get running here and uh, I'll pull that off and let you see the flame here as it gets rolling. Yeah, there's that little beggar down in there. While well, my gilly kettle, M kettle, is running, heating up my water, I think I'm going to take my poncho. I'm going to set it up as a hammock. Okay, and putting this thing up, I've got a couple of our uh, shuttle slings and. Uh, that hammock to him, a poncho. I call it a hammock, not Jeanette. It's a poncho. Crying out loud, it's a poncho, not a hammock. Okay, so the way this works is the quick connect cord is built in. This is one from the factory. So it's built in there. There's a loop down inside of there. I just grab that loop, pull the snaps apart. These little snaps in here are what they keep the loop from coming out or from retracting too far into there. So all I've got to do is there's one of those on each side at the front, each side at the back. So see I just go like that. So now, now I'm, I've got them both. So now I just pull that like that. It's ready to hang up. So all I do is use a toggle from a stick or I've got an aluminum one, a little piece of aluminum tubing. And all I do is put that in there right there. You can see it. Okay. And then this part here shuttles up and down. That's how you adjust your hammock fit. Oh, my water's boiling. Well, we're boiling. The quick connect cords in the uh, in the poncho here. <sighs> Feels good on a 45 degree day. The uh, quick connect cords, hammock cords that are built into this poncho, and you can order them built in on any poncho you order from us. They just make it so quick and easy to change. Uh, modes from from poncho to hammock hammock to poncho but this is so easy you know so I started out wearing it as a poncho then I came over here started some water boiling and and by and before the water by, by the time the water was boiling I had this thing all set up including camera setup time and all that stuff so I mean it is quick it is just absolutely quick I think the plus is that any time you take your poncho with you, you're also taking a hammock. So one last thing, taking this thing down, I got a toggle in here, I just pull the toggle out, I just throw that in my pocket. Now all I've got to do is stow the quick connect cords, the quick connect cord, and I'm ready to wear it as a poncho or just stick it back in my pack. And now to do that is very simple. All I do is take one of my loops, I put it over one of those little snaps inside of there. Snap to snap. Okay, so I've snapped both of the ends. Now I just pull like that, sucked it up inside. My cord's stowed just like that. That's how easy it is. It's crazy simple. I'm kind of surprised it isn't running over the road right here. Put some more. The old water wagon is rolling here. Yeah, she's pretty full. Pretty full this time of year.